Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a plan with me and this is a plan with me for the week of um, June the 1st through the 7th. I know that it is long past but I just could not let this plan with me go to waste. I think this is so beautiful. I love this kit. This kit is from Danny Faith Designs. Um, she also has an Etsy shop. I think it's like Brandy's, I don't know. It's Brandy's something, but I'm Brandy Plans or something like that. But I always go to the Danny Faith Designs website because she sells $5 kits there. If you get, um, the matte, it's $5. And then if you get the glossy, it's $7. It's just ridiculous. Um, they're four page kits for that price. And it's a really good deal, um, and I've never gotten bad stickers from her. I'm also pulling in some day covers and some date dots from other kits, and I don't know where I got those. They're just leftovers that I've been saving, but I thought that they went good with this kit with that yellow. Um, but I love that this is muted. It's just so pretty. It's it's a golden yellow as opposed to a bright yellow, which I really love when it comes to like honeybees. Um, so I just love this kit. I honestly feel like I need to go back to her website and order another one just because I used it already and now I'm sad because it's gone. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I get that way. Um, I just, it makes me want to hoard them because I love them so much. Um, and then these date dots, I'm pretty sure were just from like a happy planner book or something like that. I can't exactly remember what book it came out of, but it came out of one of those sticker books and it just had tons and tons of date dots. So I used those. Um, I usually try to do my bottom washi and then my day headers first. Um, then I always, because I don't like the big numbers at the top of the happy planner, so I always end up using washi. Um... And for this one, you'll see in just a minute, I used um, some new washi that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm in love with it. Um, I actually did two plan with me's on this day. So you see the leftovers to my right. Um, that was actually a Danny Faith Designs kit as well. But I, um, I definitely wanted to go ahead and put this up just because I was so behind on editing. And I didn't want to not let you see this kit because it's just too pretty to waste. So I did use um, some of those washi strips as headers. I just used the header size. So all of those strips are not the same size. Um, they're different sizes, but I used the header size and just um, used one of each underneath my day covers. So that's what I did there. Um, I hope you guys have been doing well. It has been... A crazy time you guys I feel like I just need to post all of the videos because that is what I have been looking for as a viewer is just all the positive vibe videos and so what better way for um, me to put out some positive vibes than to play with stickers I mean it's just very therapeutic and relaxing um, I am gonna white out those numbers and I'm fiddling with this stupid big whiteout that I absolutely hate. Where is my Tombow? I asked my husband to grab me some um, whiteouts because I ran out of my Tombow. And he ended up grabbing this, which bless his heart. I mean, he grabbed a huge pack of it. And it is the worst whiteout I've ever had. Which, in its defense, I am left-handed. So I use it all wonky. So that's probably part of the reason why it slips everywhere. But it's just a pain in the butt. Um, but here's this super cute washi that I got from Hobby Lobby with the bees on it. If you can hear my screaming banshees in the background. I have children who are wild and crazy. Um, so of course they're just being themselves. I figured out that that looked atrocious with the June sticking out like a sore thumb with that pink. Um, it just looked awful, so I went ahead and whited all of that out, even though I hate using this stupid white out. It's such a pain in the butt. And then I just put that washi, continued it on over there just to kind of hide that. And then I put that little flag underneath that. I thought it was really cute, so I decided to use it on the sidebar. Now I'm just trying to choose which box I want to use, and I went ahead and used this little tiered tray. 
I love these tiered trays and I know they're all the rage and people decorate them so stinking cute. I know that I could like decorate it. It's just that I don't have anywhere to put it. I feel like every single wear that I put things decorative and cute, my children inevitably mess it all up and go crazy with it. So it's hard for me to decide where it's going to go. So I just never, I haven't purchased one yet. I'm trying to decide if home decor is just out of the question for me until I have no more toddler hands grabbing for everything but you know what I'm probably going to have another baby so that's never going to come so I might as well just <laughs> have decor that doesn't break and just go from there um for my sidebar I put a this week with the weekly box that I always put except I usually tell myself I'm going to use it for dinners and do you think I ever remember to fill the dang thing out no not really um but I just used this heart checklist because there is an extra one and um, that is what I'm going to use for my cleaning list. That's really what I should use the weekly box for, honestly. But I tell myself every time, you can put dinners here. And I never, ever do it. So, anyways. Again, if you can hear them in the background, I hope that you can't. But if you can, they are having some sibling arguments about I'm not playing with you anymore because you're not doing what I want. So who knows what they're fighting about. Probably over some toy that one got and the other thinks is the best toy in the world. You guys have probably seen me rifling through this um, notebook quite often. Um, it was actually gifted to me by my dear friend Susan who um, spoiled me with lots of planner goodies. But I put all of the leftovers on, in this notebook and um, this is what I go back to. I love it because if you have a kit that's a little bit smaller like this one. And it doesn't have all your habit trackers and your extra things. Um, I don't use, when I get the bigger kits, I don't use all of those things. And so it's just perfect to put it in there. And now I'm rifling through my functional little books here to look, I guess, for a coffee sticker. Because... Y'all, who am I kidding? It's not just Monday that I need a dang coffee. It's every morning that I drink coffee. But I just think it's cute to add that on a Monday morning. Um, honestly, every weekday and the weekend for that matter is pretty much the same to me when it comes to um, my daily schedule, daily routine, and coffee. But I just think it's cute. So I usually put that um, on the Monday. And plus, I like that this planner has that free space up at the top. I hate the lines. I don't use it as an hourly planner, so I absolutely hate the lines. But as I have expressed like a broken record many, many times, this happy planner was the only one that I liked all of the dividers and the cover and things like that. The rest of them I just really did not enjoy. I have since found a happy planner when they came out with the new like 18 months um, starting in July and then going into December of 2021. I found one that I really, really like, um, but I, I just want to stick it through with this one. I only have a few more months left before the end of the year. I really love the dividers in this one. I don't want to gut the other one and just use the pages. Like I don't want to do all of that. I just want to use this one until it's full. And then, you know, the 18-month planners will be on super sale then after that. And then I can just grab one. Or I might find, um, you know, the 2021 planners I might like better. So when it comes to picking out a planner, I really like the dividers that show the season. That's really what I love. And a lot of them just weren't like that this time around. So now I'm moving on to Tuesday. I guess for some reason I wanted to go from the bottom up. I think it's just because I wanted to balance out that heart checklist and I wanted to make sure I put that at the bottom. So I just started with that. Um, these full boxes are so beautiful. I mean the images on them are just so darn cute. I love it so, so much. It just reminds me of the whole farmhouse thing. 
And I know that that's so trendy, but that's the way I grew up. I mean, I'm an Alabama girl. If you look outside my window, it's country, which I do live in a neighborhood, but I haven't always, and I've usually always lived in the country. That's where I grew up. I grew up in the woods somewhere. Um, every, almost every house we ever had was somewhere in the woods or in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road, and that's just how it's always been. So... Even when you go down the road for me, like there's nothing but farmland everywhere and that's how I like it. So that's kind of my dream house. If I could pick somewhere, I would totally choose to live on a farm with a bunch of animals with a big old huge garden and be that weird farming lady. Like I would be perfectly happy with that who doesn't much like to go into town and complains about having to drive all the way into the city with those crazy city folks and I'd rather stay on my farmland like you know I'll be that weird person who's just a hermit with her farm and her animals that's fine with me um but anyways I know I'm sometimes I feel like I'm the weird one yes probably um, so then I'm just going to mark that we did water play and played outside I do know that that is a fox in a bathtub but um it doesn't have to be a bathtub today. It's just a water bucket. But that's what we did. We had some water play. And we played all day outside. Um, and then we decided to grill that night. I think when I actually planned this, it was on a Wednesday or a Thursday. Um, so we had already done a lot of this stuff. But on Wednesday, we do have um, church. And we had a lot of... Um, we did multiplication review. And then I did a lot of... Um, cleaning. Um, Jaren was with us this week, so we had to go get him some new shoes because he is the roughest child I've ever seen on clothing and shoes. I cannot even express to you. I mean, he comes to our house every other weekend and then we get him a month in the summer and we get him on like school breaks and everything. So it's not like he wears these shoes and this wardrobe every day. Like we have his own shoes here, his own wardrobe here of clothing. And he doesn't wear it all the time. But I swear, every time he puts something on, it has a hole or a horrible stain that I can't get out. Or holes in his shoes. Like, oh my goodness, child, you are so rough. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know how. I don't understand. Like, he's doing the same thing that the other kids are doing, but somehow he just, he is rough on his clothes and shoes. So we had to go get him some new shoes because when I look down at his shoes, he sure enough had a hole in them. Um, and he ended up getting them soak and soaked and wet, and he left them outside, and they smelled horrible. So... I just said, well, they can dry out and be your play shoes, and we'll just go grab you some more. So that's what we did. So on Thursday, I needed to pack the boys' clothes. I needed to wash all of Jaren's clothes because he was going home. He was supposed to go home on Friday, but he didn't end up doing that, but I didn't know that at the time. So I needed to wash all of that and pack the boys' clothes because we were supposed to go kayaking on Friday, and the boys were spending the night. This was the very first time that the boys had spent the night at my mom's, like all three of them. So that's what we I was getting ready to do. So I needed to pack blankies and stuffed animals and all the things to make sure that that night went as smoothly as possible. It did not end up going that smoothly, unfortunately, because apparently a lark just did not sleep well for them. He sleeps so well at home, but... Again, he, he had never spent the night off without me before, so I don't know if that was it and he just knew he was in a strange place or if he just sleeps better in his own bed. I don't know. But whatever the reason, he didn't sleep very well. So now I'm just finding some functionals. I think, I'm not really sure what I was looking for. I think I was looking for like a... Okay, now I'm just randomly grabbing the weekend banner, but that I don't think that's what I initially went in for, but whatever. Um, maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe I knew what I was doing. Um, <laughs> rarely ever, but maybe so. So I'm just going ahead. I, I find that when I start on the weekend, when I start on this page for whatever reason, I just start going forward. Like, 
fast forwarding to the weekend and finishing these two days um, before I do the other things. I don't know what it is about it. I think I just want to make sure all of my stickers are balanced out and things like that. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I know that I'm going to put a half box up for church because we wake up super early. Um, and um, this week we were still doing an 8.30 service and a 10.45 service, which meant I had to wake up at the crack of dawn at about 5.30 to get us all up and ready because we live an hour away from church. And um, I have to be there super early for practice and everything for worship service. So that was really rough, um, not going to lie, to get there super early to practice for worship and then be at practice and then be at the first service and then stay for worship for the second service and then leave like the kids were just pooped by the time that whole process was over with but it was okay I actually did enjoy service earlier if that makes sense um so I am just finishing up Sunday to trim this so that I can put the header on top of that. And that is going to be the end of it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.